What's caught my attention is that there is ongoing fighting in the north of the Gaza Strip. Israel's defence forces say they're going area by area that has now been cleared um, and looking for tunnels and clearing those out. There's been serious hand-to-hand -hand fighting and there have been an increase in Israeli casualties over the past 48 hours. That's in the north. Um, the situation with the hospital, with the Indonesian hospital, has been condemned both by Indonesia itself, which is a donor to that hospital named after it, uh, and by the head of the World Health Organization. There are contradictory reports as to how many people are in that hospital, how many civilians are taking shelter, whether they have tried to leave or are trying to leave. Uh, but in the south of the, of the Gaza Strip, I'd like to focus on Khan Yunus because Israel has said it's expanding to the south. And Khan Yunus is significant for three reasons, really. Um, the first is that it's, uh, it's an area where into which we are now seeing uh, Jordan bringing equipment, bringing medical equipment. They say they're going to set up a field hospital. It's going to take them 48 hours. But it's also an area where Israel has been dropping leaflets, telling people to leave. There have been uh, reported airstrikes. It's also the home of Yahya Sinwar, the Palestinian leader, uh, and the Palestinian um, and Mohammed Def, who's the, the military leader of Hamas in Gaza. So all of this makes it very fraught. And it's in the south where Israel's told people it's safe to go.